welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is part one of my series for Sniper Elite 5. This is a 100% walkthrough or achievement guide, whatever you want to call it. Important to note that I have practiced the game before recording these videos. I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the collectibles, all of the side missions, and more importantly, all of the achievements or trophies. I'm going to do one video per mission. Uh, now, there are a bunch of uh, achievements or trophies for certain kills and certain weapon masteries. What we're going to do is we're going to work through the game and get a few of those just by naturally playing the game. And then at the end of the game, I found a really cool farming spot that we can go back and just grab them all really, really quick. Any that we have left over that we didn't get through normally playing the game, except for one that we're actually going to do a really, really quick little farming spot here in the first mission uh, to get one of those achievements out of the way. And that, yeah, like I said, I think I already touched on it. One video per mission and maybe one or two videos at the end just to clean everything up. Uh, there are some missions that we have to replay, especially the last mission uh, once or twice just to get a few different achievements that you can't get all in one go. So that might be part of one big cleanup video at the end. I haven't worked that video out yet. Uh, but yeah, have practice, played ahead, and we're going to play the first mission. Um, we're also going to turn off invasions, so there's no multiplayer invasions happening. Go to new campaign. Now, we're also going to get the achievement for beating the game on authentic difficulty. Now, you'll see me put it on authentic difficulty, guys, but we're actually going to cheat a little bit. The game and the achievements or trophies do let you do this. What we're going to do as soon as we get into the game is we're going to change the difficulty back down to very easy. And then right at the end of every single mission, before we finish the mission, we're going to switch the difficulty back to authentic and complete that each mission on authentic. And the game will count that we've done the whole mission on authentic. So we are cheating. If you're looking for a full authentic playthrough, this is not it. This is just the best, quickest way that I know how to beat the game and get all of the achievements or trophies. All right, enough talking. Let's start the game. Fairburn. Captain says we'll be surfacing in five. Clear on your orders. We wait for air cover from our boys in the RAF. And once they start their raid, we use the distraction break on the beach. Your team destroys the coastal defenses to the west. I neutralize the defenses here and proceed inland to rendezvous with Blue Viper at the safe house in town. As quietly as possible. Quiet, okay. We'll come back to the beach and find the place crawling with Germans. If they spot the sub before you blow those guns, me and my team. We'll be stuck here. I can do quiet. You'd better. Calm down, mate. Of course we will. And just a reminder for those that aren't, uh, those that might be new to my channel, I do watch all the cutscenes for the first time with you guys. When I'm practicing the game and playing ahead of time, I skip all the cutscenes so I get to enjoy it live with you guys on the recordings, and I do keep them in the videos. Obviously, feel free to skip ahead all if right, you're not into cue. that sort of thing. Okay, Fairburn. There are the searchlights. We're about to get our first achievement, though. Alright, guys. As soon as we've got control of our character here, we're going to pause the game. We're going to go into difficulty. And we're going to pop it back to very easy, just like that. Take them out. Here on very easy. Now we're going to zoom in. Our, our, our um, objective now scout the shoreline. is to scout both of these searchlights and take them both out. We're going to click the right thumbstick. Now, I'll be using uh, Xbox controller, so or I'm using an Xbox. So all of my um, instructions will always be Xbox related. Um, so hopefully that's not too confusing. And what we need to do is zoom in on each of the guys using... You can use the D-pad to zoom in on this difficulty. Each of the guys using these two searchlights to sort of mark them. Oh God, what is my controller doing here? Anyway, zoom in on both these guys and you'll see it's set up like that. And now we're going to get our first achievement here, guys. What we're going to do is grab out our rifle, zoom in on the enemy. For this particular objective we don't, and this difficulty, we don't have to worry about 
any of the drop or anything like that. And what we're going to do is, when we're ready to shoot, guys, now the objective is to take out the searchlights, but what we really need to do is just take out the two enemies controlling the searchlights. And our first achievement we're going to grab is the testicle shot. Uh, so we're going to do that by hitting this guy in the testicles, or if we miss this shot, we'll do it on the second guy. But we're going to tap RB and then aim in right where the sort of uh, legs join, if that makes sense. I'm sure you guys don't need me to tell you that. Right about, wait for it to go red. Right there. Bada bing, bada boom. I think I went too high, to be honest. We're about to find out, though. Nope. That is the testicle shot. And that should unlock our first achievement and take out our first enemy. Bada bing, bada boom. Testicle shot. <laughs> did he? How did he even know from there? There's the achievement popping. The Dinos Naka. Sweet. Oh yeah, and it had to be from 100 meters or more, which both of these enemies are. So if you missed it on the first one, you can get it on this guy as well. I have practiced that as well. We're going to hit RB to um, steady our aim. And I'm just going to take out the searchlight, which will then in turn take out the enemy anyway. But even if you miss the light and just take out the enemy, it is job done. Bada bing, bada boom. Two kills done. And it will automatically progress us after that. You secure the beachhead, and we'll follow when everything's clear. Sounds good, buddy, old pal. Alright, see you on the other side, Sullivan. Landing zone safe for the Rangers. Better get to it. All right, we're gonna run straight ahead once we're back in control, guys. Slide down here, and we're just running to that waypoint. There's nothing to collect or any enemies to worry about. B to go prone under here, and then run up to this uh, climbing section straight ahead. Get a good vantage point down. Get a few tutorial things out of the way. Climb here, and then these vines. You just walk into them to climb up these as well. And over here to the left, you'll be able to search the uh, body that we took out. This is one of the lights that we took out. Search the body, and we'll do this on most enemies. We'll be doing searching um, and collecting goodies. Uh, that particular body, we're just going to leave there. I don't need to hide it or anything. You, now, when you see dropped weapons on the ground, you can pick them up, uh, but you can only use them until you swap weapons again. If you want to swap back to another weapon that you already came in with, you'll just drop the picked up weapon off the ground. Uh, we can grab some loot here, pistol rounds, some bandages. Uh, the other achievement we're going for in this first level, guys, there's an achievement for beating a level without healing. We'll be doing that. Obviously, we're playing on very easy, and if you're following along, you shouldn't need to heal anyway. So make sure you don't heal, otherwise you're going to have to get that on a different, uh, different mission. And now we're just going to slide down here, guys, and we're going to automatically crouch. Where my position? No, we're not going to order. We're going to crouch, sorry, and hide in this long grass here. And we're going to move up the long grass here. And then we're going to pause the game here and make sure you do a save right here. Any save slot will do. I'm creating a new save slot here. And then with our pistol selected, so that's left on the D-pad if you don't already have it, we're going to get 50 kills from tall grass here, guys. Now, you could just get this from normal play. Uh, I'm going to save the game again right here just because it's... Uh, closer to the enemy so save where you can see the enemy that's important and then we're going to get 50 headshot kills with this pistol and from tall grass it uh knocks out a couple of little things that we need to work on towards achievement including 50 kills from long long grass so we're going to get that first kill and then we're just going to go load game go down to our manual save that we just made so you'll need to find your correct save file select that load in Aim at the head, get another headshot. You don't have to watch these every time, you can skip them. A lot of the headshots will give you these um, X-ray slow motion thingamajiggies. Get the headshot, make sure it registers, then go down, press load, go down to your manual save, select yes. It's really easy, really quick loading screens as well, especially, well, at least for me, on the, um, whatchamacallit, Series X. 
And we're going to get another kill and load game. Down to, and I think you get the idea by now. We're going to do this 50 times, guys. Now, these, all this XP that we're getting, guys, does add up and does save even if you load out. You keep getting the XP. So we're going to get a whole heap of XP. The other thing it does, if we go to options, go down to service record, uh, go to medals, into here, and you'll see there is one here. No, that's not it. The snake one. Snake in the grass. This is what we're going for. It obviously says 3 out of 10, but once you get the 10, it goes up to the next level and so on and so on. We're going to get 50 kills on that. You can see we've already got 3, so they all register and they keep registering. So we're going to keep doing it right now, guys. Keep loading and getting a headshot. And then loading and getting a headshot. And I'm going to skip the video ahead so you don't have to watch all 50 until we get somewhere closer to that. Now, if you do um, happen to miss a headshot and kill him a different way, just load and do it again. But make sure you get 50 headshots with this particular gun. Pardon the interruption, guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. Hey guys, I'm up to, this will be my 50th kill from the tall grass. Let's do that. So get the headshot there. Press say, and hold the button. Let that amazing sound, this snake in the grass achievement pops there. Now, if you're anything like me and you suck at uh, games like this sometimes, you may have stuffed up a couple. And when we, what we want to do is go across to Master of Pistols under the weapons and items. And we want to get the M1911 Master. So I actually need to do three more. Three of my kills that I got didn't count as ghost kills because I um, maybe missed a shot or two there, here and there. So what we want to do is get three more. So I'm going to load game three more times. I suppose I can leave this in the video. It doesn't take long at all. And I'm going to talk about a few things yeah, as I do it. Uh, and I want to get that mastery because one of the achievements is for getting pistol mastery with all of the pistols in the game. The reason we can't do it yet or even as we go through is because we need to unlock all of those guns as well. So let's load it another two times because I suck at doing something and talking about it at the same time. Okay, one more, load again. And then we'll get on with the game. And you will have noticed if you've been doing this, guys, and you have done it so far, you're also ranking up. You're getting enough XP to level up. Oh boy, that's, that's a shot. That is a shot. Yeah, that took him out. And now we got sure. some new stuff unlocked as well. Um, so let's go and check the service record again. Go across to medals and weapons and items. And there we go. Master of Pistols for the M1911. That Once we've got that, we're ready to move on, guys. No more farming for quite some time. Um, I just wanted to get that achievement, to be honest, out of the way. You probably would get it through natural progression as you play the game, but anyway, what I'm gonna do is search the body. Nothing and then I'm gonna pick him up and hide him in this long grass here. Long grass. It's a better oh, I'll have to throw him in. That's right. Okay guys, with that guy dealt with finally, once and for all, we're gonna go into our skills menu. And if you've done those 50 kills, you will have accumulated two skill points. I'm just gonna spend them here on the very first thing in our body skills. Obviously playing on this difficulty, a lot of these upgrades are not really important to us, but I do wanna have more focus so that we'll be able to see more enemies. Um, so we're gonna grab the first focus upgrade and then press up and get the second focus upgrade, which is the focus range, increased range of focus. Now, focus is like an ability that we can hold the right thumbstick in and it sort of shows enemies through walls and all that sort of thing. So it's like, like magic, obviously. Okay, and with that done, we're now gonna go up towards, uh, hang on, let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Yep, up toward, up this hill. We're gonna sneak up to, not sneak, but run up to this climbing area here. 
And as we climb up here, we're just gonna make sure that that guy is over there looking the wrong way. Now guys, there's also an achievement for getting one, I think it's 100 lethal takedowns. When we sneak up on this guy, we're gonna have the option to take him down non-lethally or lethally. We are gonna be doing a ton of lethal takedowns until at least we get that achievement. So I'm gonna climb up here, I'm gonna crouch, and we're gonna sneak up behind him. And for me, the button that I wanna press is the Y button to kill him. So we need 100 lethal takedowns just like that. Um, and that's why we're gonna be doing lethal takedowns for that achievement. I'm gonna pick up the body. You don't really need to do this too much. Um, I just like to hide the bodies. It makes me feel uh, more badass in these games, more sneaky, more James Bond-like. Okay, with that first lethal takedown done, let's go get another one. We're gonna head over to the east. You can see another section where we can climb over here and there you can already hear the enemy he's just up there now next thing to point out guys you won't always most of these first enemies you might be might find are exactly the same but this game doesn't work like some other games where the enemies do the exact same thing every time they can be quite random so i'm going to take out all the enemies and show you my methods for taking them out but they can change on the run because the enemies do different things and right now i'm just waiting for this guy if we pop up right now, he's gonna see us. Uh, the other thing to point out is you can tell that this guy looks a bit different to most of the other enemies, and that's because he's what we call an officer. And you can tell by the hat that he's wearing. He's talking over me, how rude. Um, and most of the officers will carry um, like keys and different bits of intel, so always make sure you search their bodies. We'll be searching uh, pretty much all bodies anyway. Uh, I'm not gonna be killing or taking down absolutely every single enemy on every single map. If we don't need to go to their area, we won't. And just a reminder, there are 19 collectibles in each map. Oh, now that he's turned his back to us, we're gonna climb up. We're gonna sneak up behind him and do another lethal takedown using the Y button. Officer's likely to have something important. Huh? Yep. That's Should right, he's an officer. Body. The game's telling us what I just told you. We found a boathouse key. That was what he had that's important. And I believe this is probably the boathouse right here. And I'm just gonna hide his body in here. And now we're about to get the first collectible of the 19 in this mission, guys. But this one's not missable. I think it's part of the main story. We unlock this door. And straight ahead, we're gonna find classified document number one have a look. and collectible number one of 19. Before we pick it up, if you press pause, you'll see there, zero of 19 collectibles. Pick up the document, pause the game, and now we have one out of 19 collectibles. According to All right. this, the SS captured a resistance cell in the town last week. We can There's unlock or open the work. back door. Uh, I don't think, wait, was there any loot inside or is it just outside? No, no loot in here. Out here, we're gonna find some loot on this table here. Med kits are already full, but we're not gonna use any anyway. Subsonic rounds, rifle rounds. They make the uh, bullets even quieter. Oh, oh, he's not meant to be able to see me from there. We're just, oh, they came in. See, they're already doing something different. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get into their normal, normal-ish routine. And then we're gonna sneak into that um, long grass over there. We should be able to do that now. Sneak into the long grass. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go over another mechanic that we're gonna use a lot to get a lot of our kills. Hold the left bumper, or whatever the right button is for you to bring up the, the uh, weapon select menu. And we're gonna select the whistle. And for me, that means once the whistle is selected, I can use contact. the RB button in order to whistle and we're going to whistle right now this guy's going to come in and investigate when he approaches this wall we're going to be able to do a lethal takedown on him so i'm not going to keep count of all the lethal takedowns but obviously this is going to be lethal takedown number three as soon as he gets close to this wall we should be able to do a proper kill it'll give us the button prompt there we go just came up for a split second pressed it straight away and we do a kill that automatically has hidden his body as well and the other guy else. that came out of that car is all the way over to the left so I'm actually gonna jump over here. Uh, he may be in a different spot for you guys, so you're just gonna have to figure out where he is and how you wanna kill him. Uh, but hopefully with these first few enemies, they should all be pretty standard. Now I'm looking on my mini map, I can tell he's facing the other way without even looking at him. 
And what I'm going to do is walk up to that wall. Shouldn't be a problem. I just thought he was going to move then. Yeah, he's just moving now. I'm going to wait for him to stand still. They, whenever they stop, they usually stop for a, a little while. I'm going to walk up to this wall. And you see it's a bit longer. We can't do the same type of kill that we did on that last one. So I'm actually going to sneak up right behind him and do a lethal takedown number four. Search him. I think we just got another skill point. Let me just check. Yes, we did. But I'm going to wait until we've got two skill points and get our next focus upgrade. All right, with all that done, we are now... Oh, hang on, was I going to hide the body? Nah, I don't need to hide that body. I searched it, that's the main thing. Now we're going to go up this little hill over here and climb up. Rather than going up the road, we're going to go this way. I can just run a little bit. Don't know why I'm crouching. It's just a habit. I like to be nice and sneaky. Okay, we're going to climb these vines, just approaching them once again. Automatically that's climbs them. Else? At the top, there's going to be this enemy here. He is always going to stand here. He won't move. But we're going to go right to the top and get the option to kill him. Now, if we didn't take down those guys down there, killing him like this may alert them. But we are safe to kill him like this. So another lethal takedown. Apparently, our fists are lethal. One punch to the uh, groin area and then to the face. And he's dead, apparently. And you'll get this a lot. Sometimes it'll say that, no usable items, you won't have to waste your time searching them. Other times you'll search the body and end up getting absolutely nothing anyway. Uh, I'm just going to hide this body, why not? Where are we going to hide? Actually, let's just throw him down there. <laughs> That'll kill him if that punch didn't. Happy trails, Hans. Oh, see you, mate. All right, now we're going to crouch and sneak down this hill and get into this long grass at the bottom. Wait, no loot over there, was there? I've tried to find most of the loot that we need anyway, or Probably even the loot we don't need, actually. Resistance. Got to get past these Nazis and get inside. All right, we're going to use our whistle mechanic again here. Hiding in the long grass. I know we did the other one hiding behind a, uh, a wall as well, but here we're going to just whistle, and he's going to come straight to where we are, and we'll just kill him here in the long grass. No problems at all. And just uh, as soon as he gets close enough, hit the Y button or your button of choice. Do the kill, and you still need to search him. Nothing else to find. And there's two more guards over there. Now, one of them will come close enough that we can do another whistle. See, if you whistle now, I don't think he's close enough. The other option is to go up near that wall on our right. But I do believe... They usually come close enough. If not, that's fine. Let's go over to this wall. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Oh, he's going to move, is he? All right, at this wall. Do a little whistle. Hello. Hello. Yes, come on. Now, if he's going to go around the wall, we're going to stand right on the edge here. And as he gets close enough, get the kill done. Doesn't matter that he saw us for a split second. Does not matter at all. Only difference is that guy may have heard something and may investigate. Doesn't look like he's gonna, gonna search this body from here. And then we're gonna go and do a takedown on this guy as well. Depending on what he does. Okay, so now he's being a bit suspicious. If he's suspicious, that's fine. You just stay where you are. And we do the same thing we did to this guy. Even if he finds a body, that doesn't matter either, guys. You can still get a ghost kill on him too. There we go. Get a kill on him too. And we're going to search him as well. Alright, with that third guy done, I'm going to look around. There should be some loot we can run around now. Uh, before we open that door, I do believe there was meant to be some loot out here that I wanted to grab. That's the door there. Where was it? There's some. SMG rounds are now full. 
nothing else here and then open this door and we'll get another cutscene i'm looking forward to seeing this one oh charlie charlie thanks i just needed a distraction you're welcome an stand is better this time of year <laughs> but france has better food you're my contact you're the desert ghost <laughs> the desert ghost yeah that's known. me good to see you yeah blue viper blue viper you chose that code name not me but they found us anyway in spite of all the codes betrayed maybe i think so i can't be sure they tried to make us talk and when we wouldn't my god they killed the whole town everyone all thanks to a bastard named Muller. oh we better get him then they split us up some of my men might still be alive somewhere in this place we have to i'll find them you're in no shape to fight where can we meet all right you win <laughs> that was easy the safe house is blown there's a farmhouse just north of the town. I'll find it. Uh, one more thing. One of my men, Marcel, he hid information in a loose panel under his bed. The key for it was sewn into the hem of his trousers. They may not have found him yet. Look for the house with the yellow brickwork. Yellow brickwork. You can't miss it. Got it. It is good to see you again. You too, old friend. Oh, yep. Classy. But he deserved it, that Nazi scum, am I right? Alright, as soon as... Hey, I'm trying to talk here, Carl. Can I talk now? Okay, I think he's done talking. Now, we've got to go continue the only way that sort of looks possible. And in here, guys, on this little uh, bench here, we're going to get the bolt cutters. They will be coming in handy for the rest of the mission. Can hear voices through those. And now we're going to sneak because there is an enemy up here. Oh, and this is going to teach you how to use the focus that we've already upgraded. So there we can see the enemy through the wall. Hold right stick again to turn it off because it actually makes you go nice and slow. And I want to go through here and use the... Uh, we can use the bolt cutters. Press X. Doesn't matter where he is. He won't hear it. And then we're going to sneak up behind him and do a lethal takedown. Oh yeah, take that. Check my weapons before hitting the field. Search this fella. Well. And you can pick up any of these weapons, but you, once again, you won't be able to keep them. And we don't need them anyway. Grab some loot. Med kits are full. All sorts of loot around here. Subsonic pistol rounds. That's fine. Speaking of which, I might just um, hold LB, go to my pistol, and just make sure we change to the subsonic ammo for when we do use our pistol. And I believe our bottles that you can see here, I'm going to stand up like a normal person. Yeah, bottles are already full. And this is the rifle workbench. Each mission is going to have three workbenches, one for rifles, one for pistols, and one for submachine guns. It doesn't mean you can't... Um, make changes to the other weapons. I think what it means is that you just, if this is a rifle workbench, it means that we get extra rifle parts each time we find another one of these benches. So pressing Y to inspect it, uh, unlocked a whole bunch of extra, oh, I don't know what that was. Don't worry about that. Um, bunch of rifle gear. So we're gonna go in and customize Oh, starting location interrogation block also unlocked. So using this workbench unlocks one of the starting locations. They are not required to find for achievements, but we will be uh, activating all, if not all of them, most of them. I'm just going to upgrade the rifle that we started with the SREM1. Uh, we're going to use, we're going to customize it. I'm going to go in here. I don't think I need these. Oh yeah, let's uh, put the heavy ammo into it. We're going to put. In my notes, what did it say? Barrel and stock. So I don't think I want any of this. It makes the gun noisier, doesn't it? Yeah, we don't want to make the gun noisier, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to put the stock on it. 
Uh, which one did I want? The better control or the better rate? Nah, better control. We don't care about the rate of fire. We're not going to be doing much. And did I already upgrade the barrel? Didn't I yet? Do I want to put this on it? I think there was a reason why I didn't want that on there. Yeah, faster rate of fire, but reduced accuracy. No, thanks. Nope, 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 nope. All right, that's all I need to upgrade for now. I'm going to ignore the pistol upgrades and the other rifle for now as well. And we're going to head outside and eventually we're going to get another cutscene. Now, I forgot to explain that this first part of the mission, the part of the mission that we've done so far is very, very linear. That's why I haven't showed you any... Oh, we missed some SMG subsonic rounds. That's why I haven't really showed you the map as yet. But very soon we're going to be breaking out into the real um, open world because these uh, missions are all real big open worlds. So we'll get to that very shortly. We're going to open up the door here. Head outside. What did my notes say about here? Ah, oh, just go up the hill. Nothing else to worry about. We'll get a cutscene and then we will be into the open world. Oh, I have a feeling something really bad happens here. Spoiler alert, sorry. Achtung! Alle Geschütze auf Zielraster H9! Oh, oh, don't forget we came in on a sub. No way. No. Oh, you're not just stuck there, mate. So that, I do believe, is the sub we came in. There's little hints throughout the game that made me know that. No survivors, they reckon. Nancy bastards indeed. Oh, yeah. So that has is going to become our new objective. You can uh, view the objectives on the map. Let's open the map for the first time. And I'm just going to say, got it. I don't know what that's. Press X to show objectives. We've got two options to neutralize the radar. We can destroy the pillars or we can find the radar's power source. Now, wherever I've got an option to go quiet or loud, uh, press that to get rid of that. I'm probably going to go the quiet option most of the time, guys. Especially, well, um, and I am indeed going to go the quiet option here with the radar. Uh, not to say that it really, really matters for achievements. You can do really anything um, and you won't blow the achievements unless I say otherwise, all right? Okay, back in control anyway. We're going to head down the uh, little slope thingy here. And if I open up my map, I'm going to get rid of that just so that we can see where we're going. So that's where we are now. We're going to go get our next lot of uh, collectibles, let's call it. Um, and I want to go to this building or this area right here. We're going to get two different collectibles in that area as we're heading towards our objective. Now, as we progress through this, guys, we're also going to get um, some side objectives. These yellow ones are the main mission objectives, and that is one of the... Uh, uh, I don't know if you'd call that a side objective. It's one of the guys that you have to kill in the game is that guy there, um, but way more on that later. But for now, let's just go to this area and get our uh, two collectibles that we're going to find in that area. Oh, ignore those guys at that, uh, whatchamacallit. We're going to go through this field up here. And I do go a particular way for a particular reason, guys. Uh, but we're going to hug or head up through this sort of field. And you'll know that you can run. Uh, if I'm running in an area, it's because I know where I'm going. Now, sometimes there might be vehicles that come past at different times on yours to mine. You can see them by those lit up circles. So just avoid any vehicles, especially when we're going here to the road. We're going to hug to the right here and end up in this long grass over here. I think this is the long grass or is it through there? Hang on, no, through there. Okay, we can run again and we want to get into that long grass right there. We should be able to sneak in here. Without those, see those enemies just there? They're going to try and see us. But we're going to head into this long grass. I just need to move 
my notes so I can see them again. I had my map in front of me. I've got a bit of a map planned out in front of me as well. So, all right, let's see if we can whistle. Hopefully one of them will come over to the long grass. Yeah, I do normally wait until they aren't talking to each other anymore. I did forget that. That's okay. This guy's going to come to the long grass. The other guy turned around, so that's perfect. And we're going to do a little kill on this guy. And you can either sneak up on this guy, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, let's search this body first. Or you could whistle again and have him come over here. But obviously, he's the only other guy standing around here. And it's going to be a lot quicker if we go to him. Oh, he's got suspicious all of a sudden. What's he investigating? Okay, if he does that and gets suspicious, we can hide behind the truck. Is he going to go over there? It says on the screen he's investigating. What I'll do is I'm going to whistle here. Nope, no, nope, he's going. Okay, that's fine. If he's going to go anyway, we'll just sneak up behind him. Has he found the body? And get another lethal takedown on him. And he's in the long grass hidden already, so that's perfect. And search his body as well. Now you'll see there's a third guy on our mini map. First thing I want to do is grab this next collectible. I'll show you where we are on the map. That's where we are right there. And this is personal letter number one. And it will be our third collectible. Uh, you can do this next one in any order as well though. So grab the personal letter number one. Take out local communications. Let's see if we can sneak up on this. The radio In fact, I might just see if I can whistle here. Say. Is he going to hear it? No, he's not going to hear that. You know what, guys? Actually, there might be a little edit here. I just changed my mind as we were doing that. And we want to go take out this guy before shooting the eagle. Just so that it uh, lessens the chances of things being a bit different for you guys. So what we're going to do is we want to get him to come this way. As you know, I tried whistling and it didn't didn't alert him. We're just too far away. So we're going to go and take him out. If I plant explosives on the radar's pillars, I should be you can, able to bring it if down. If you need any of this stuff, you can grab it. Maybe I can find some in the Germans' ammo crates. And I'm going to try and whistle. Okay, good. He heard that. That's great. Now I want to get down to this corner here. And see if we can sneak up on this guy after doing that whistle. We'll get to this corner here and we'll whistle again. And when he comes around, we'll take him out. So as he approaches the corner, we just spam the Y button. And we should be able to get a kill on him. Oh, that stump is making things a little bit different. Uh, what I did is I actually went towards him so that he wouldn't see me too early. And even if it went red a tiny bit, You'll see down the bottom there, I still got a ghost kill for that. Uh, and now I'm going to take his body and move it. Just behind here. Uh, where are we going to put him? Let's just dump him over here. Okay, and now we can take out this... Uh, oh, there's another guy moving. We might have to wait for that guy behind me to move away again. Grab out our rifle. Crouch. Okay, he's moving away. We're going to shoot the eagle. And hopefully no one comes running over. So shoot the eagle. Someone has heard that. If someone does hear, what we're going to do is run and hide in this grass again. Actually, it looks like it doesn't say anyone's investigating on the... Oh, yeah, enemy hunting. All right, so someone has heard something. We are going to wait and see what they do. And hopefully things will return to normal. Oh, someone's coming from that direction. Yeah, I did, I did a practice run not 10 minutes ago, guys, before starting this recording. And um, nobody heard that shot. 
So it's just an example of how different things can be. You can see so many bad guys on the minimap now are alerted, but hopefully what we're gonna wait for here is everyone to just investigate and then go back to normal. If it takes too long here, guys, I will just sit here and then speed up the video. All right, I probably will speed up the video, um, but uh, they've all just uh, said the investigation is over and now they're all gonna start to returning it to where they were. And I want them to return to where they were so that I can continue on script here, guys. So I'm gonna sneak uh, up sort of move on with what we would have done next anyway. No, we're not gonna sabotage the truck. Gonna see there's a bunch of loot here at this uh, box here. Most of it we won't need anyway. Full, 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 um, and full. Uh, there may be a box of ammo there. I think I might've got that off camera. A box of ammo right there that you might need. Uh, otherwise, we're gonna start heading up this road and we wanna stick to the right hand side so that we don't attract anyone over there near the radar or in these trenches and we're going to get to the trench opening just up there where that guy is still walking away but there's always or not always i shouldn't say always sometimes there's a guy in that trench there that we do want to take out when he comes back out and we're going to start by going in this long grass here now i can see on my mini map that he is actually not facing this way and not in this, but sometimes he's in the trench facing this way. Because he's not, we've got time to run over here, get in the trench and hide here. And this way, when he does come down here, we can take him out. But he's on patrol when he's in his normal patrol. He comes down here where he's coming right now and we're going to be able to take him out when he gets here. So this is what we always want to do. Just hide until he comes out. And if he sees you, just run up to him and do the takedown like this. Doesn't matter that he saw us for a split second. Same result. Search. And then we'll hide his body in case someone else comes past this time. And we'll pop him in here. Now, very, very important that when we pop this guy in here, we pick up the satchel charge right here. We're gonna need a number of satchel charges throughout this mission. And here's our first one now. You can uh, press more info to get information on that. All right, now, if, as we head, we're gonna head into this trench where the uh, that last enemy came from. There'll probably be another guard or two. Trenches should keep Once me again. Get me closer to the radar. Close quarters though, better stay alert. Once again, can be a little bit different because this game does tend to do that and also because we alerted everyone before they may be in different positions. Uh, but I can see this guy is gonna be in here right where I want him, I think. Is he there? Where is he? There he is. Okay, good, good. Keep an eye on this guy. If he comes this way, we're gonna do a takedown on him. If he comes to the corner, here we go, run at him. Do a normal kill. If he had it turned around and gone the other way, we would have just snuck up on him and done the same thing. All right, nothing good from him. We're just going to leave his body here in the trench. Now, as we sneak further in, we're going to whistle, if I recall correctly. There may be one other guy patrolling in here. If not, head up this way. Yeah, don't go down to the left there. All right, if there was another guy down the bottom there, you can take him out. But what we wanna do here, we're gonna see if we can whistle from, from this corner, particularly at that officer there. That's who I was looking for, actually. So whistle here, don't poke your head out. And as he comes down, we're gonna uh, spam Y and take him out when he gets to the corner. Here we go. There's another guy there too that's just arrived. Um, I'm just gonna search the officer. We got the bunker key. Guess I grabbed everything useful. Oh, oh, he can see me. All right, I'm gonna try wh whistle. No, not booby trap. Did he hear that? Yep, he heard that. Perfect. 
The other option is to get up to that um, big gun there and hide behind it and whistle when he comes down. But if he hears it from here, that's great. Uh-oh, he found the body. Oh, no. Come on, mate. Come check it out. And same thing again. Slice and dice, baby. Shout out to Lo Wang. From Shadow Warrior. Okay. Dealt with both of those as well. Make sure you search both. Uh, hang on, did I search that guy there? Did I search him yet? Okay, search them. Um, got a satchel here on this uh, thing here, so make sure you grab this satchel here. Trench networks connected to the radar control bunker. And there's another satchel right there on the edge there. Grab that. Loot any of this if you need it. Don't think I need any more. Nope, all full and head inside. Now you can blow these doors open, but we got the key off that officer. So we're just going to unlock it normally. Now we're gonna uh, crouch back down and press the um, focus button. And you should see, not over there, should be, no, it's not showing up. Oh yeah, there. I think that's the crowbar. We're, what we're, our aim here is to find a crowbar. And we are now in underneath that big radar tower. And instead of blowing it up, we are going to find the crowbar. And we're gonna use that to sabotage the radar station, all right? If I can find the generators, I can disable the radar. Yeah, hang on, let me just, um, there's gonna be some enemies on our way to getting that crowbar. And they may be in different spots for you guys, but um, just keep an eye out as, you, as we go through these little corridors or little rooms. And we wanna go around to the right. I'm gonna use my focus again. All right, there's a guy right there. All right, he's coming this way, get out of the way. Oh my God. Let's whistle. Oh, how did he not hear that? Okay, it's too... Okay, someone's... Nope, no one's investigating. I need a tool to get into the generator. All right, we're just going to go up behind him. Crowbar nearby. And I'm just going to keep an eye on... If there's anyone else. Sounds like someone else heard that or something. Nope, we're good. I just want to move this body. Uh, I'm going to search it and move it. Before anyone finds it. Find anything else. Alright, run back the way we came with the body. Oh, someone nearly saw me. That's why we're running. And we're just going to drop him here. Alright, if that guy did notice us, that's great. We're going to whistle. Hello? get another kill here again guys this could be really different for you guys so you just need to take out these um, few patrolling guards your own way and bang 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 take care of him and I see another one right down the end I don't know what a body can be hiding I don't know if you could see the gun poking out all right where's he gone he's right there let's see if we can go get him all right where is he And there might be another guy out that way. All right, I'm still in focus mode. That's why it's all going so slow. But I actually took used that to my advantage to get in a position to get this guy. And the crowbar's over there. I'm going to whistle. I oh, he didn't hear it. All right, we'll go up behind him then. All right, take out another guy. Beautiful. Search him. And I don't want to leave his body in the middle of this corridor, so we're going to pick it up. And maybe I'll just pop it over here in the corner. That will hopefully do. And now we'll continue to head towards the crowbar, which is that yellow item that you can see highlighted when you go in focus mode. All right, now there's a guy up a higher level that's what we can hear that's why we can hear those footsteps and i've gone the wrong way here that's right you got to go into this room with that don't worry about that safe for just a second we want the crowbar first now where is it 
Okay, through one more room. All right, into here. Grab the crowbar. That's Excellent. What I need for sabotaging Nazi installations. That's right. Now, the only other thing is I didn't pay attention to whether I searched everyone, guys. And one of the enemies has the safe code. Did I already get the safe code? Um, if I did, we go over here. And you should be able to input the safe code. Yes, we did. So one of the enemies we searched had the safe code. If you've got that, open up the safe. And this is going to be confidential document uh, number two and collectible five. Yeah, the area is so if we pause it, we've got five out of 19 yeah, collectibles. Everything else in there, we're already full. Okay, now if there's any other guards inside, before we do this next step, hang on, we can run around a bit. Before we do this next step, we just want to make sure no one else is actually inside here. So I'm just uh, using focus to make sure no one's actually inside. That's great. Oops, wrong button. And what we're going to do next, we're going to sabotage this here. But when we do, some guys may come running in. So what we're going to do is as soon as we've sabotaged it, we're going to run over here. And this is the corner that they'll come around if they run in, guys. So we're going to crouch right here up against this wall. And as they come around the corner... Oh, someone might have just heard me because I was running, guys. Okay, well, this is what they would do. They would come in here, investigating, and we would just get a kill, just like that. Now, that he wouldn't normally come in the way he did. He only heard me because I was running, and I was only running because I was showing you what we're going to do, okay? Does that make sense? I'm going to move him. you over here as well. Did I search this other body? Let's just drop you there. Yeah, I did. Okay, good. And I searched him. Oh, so stop running. <laughs> and we're going to do that same thing. And that's the corner we're going to go to after we've sabotaged this. Okay. So open with crowbar. Generator is overloaded. Generator overloaded. Run to that corner. System. And normally normally that guy that we already took out will come running and sometimes one or two more just depending it does depend I'm just gonna wait a second here but it looks like no one else is coming uh, all right if no one else comes we're gonna follow this path anyway go up these stairs ignore this first exit that is where we need to go, but we're going to go to the next exit. Going to have a little bit of fun over here too. Let's run again down here. Okay, this door here. Oops, get to this door here. And what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to snipe. So get your rifle out. And this is going to alert some of the bad guys to come in this door. And as they come in this door, we're going to do those takedowns that we've already been doing. Um... All right, here we go, here we go. So, aim, get one of these guys with a headshot. Preferably that guy with the um, thingamajiggy. All right, let's just shoot him. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna swap back to my pistol just in case, but all these guys are gonna be alerted and they're gonna come running right through this door. Some of them may come in a different door and we'll sneak up on them later. But for now, we want them to come running through this door. And if we do see them and they don't seem to be coming for our door, we're just going to whistle and get them to come for our door. We, do, we may have to be patient here. They're all still freaking out a little bit. And eventually, as you can see, the one running down the stairs, they are going to eventually come running. Here we go. Here we go. It doesn't matter if they uh, come more than one at a time. Same result. Let's do a whistle. We want them all to just come running through this door and do kills just like that. There's one. Don't worry about the bodies or anything. Straight back to where we were. Here comes another one. Another kill. Bada bing, bada boom. Stacking up the bodies. Where'd the other guy go? Hey, whistle again if you need to. <laughs> Is someone there? I better go check. And another kill. And if this guy that we can see in the background doesn't come running in, we'll whistle again. 
Looks like he's gonna. Oh no, whistle! Oh, he didn't hear that. How are you not hearing that? Are you deaf? There we go. Someone heard it. Is it him or someone else? Okay, he looks like the only guy left outside, so I'm gonna run outside. I'm gonna follow him. Where'd he go? Crap. I didn't see where he went, guys. Oh, there he is. We'll sneak up on him. We'll take him out. Hey, 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 hey. Ho, 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 ho. Search him while we're here. And it looks like one guy went inside. I've grabbed all I can. So go back where we were. Sneak in. I'm not going to worry about those bodies just yet. We're going to see if we can go find this guy that's inside. At least I think he's inside. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Use focus just to check. Uh, looks like he's up there. Maybe he's not. Okay, sometimes people come in to here and check this out, but looks like he didn't come in. So that's fine too. We'll go back out. Ooh, they lost me. Is that what that noise was all about? Hang on, I went the wrong way. Sorry, guys. This way. All right, back where we were. I think they've stopped their investigation. So I'm going to go back to this door where we lined up all the bodies. And search you. I think a couple of the bodies disappeared here. Unless they are just uh, clipped into each other. I think they were. I'm just going to move them. I'm only hiding them to get them out of the way. One in there. So I know which ones I've searched. Search you. So that's a bit of fun, getting them all to come running like that. Definitely a tactic I'll use more and more throughout the walkthrough, just to, just for fun. I, I enjoy it. All right, and I'll search you. Now you may want to go and sneak up on the other uh, enemies that are still here. Should we do that? Let's uh, let's go and at least get this one that's over here. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay, I knew that. And then we'll get back to the actual mission. But there is one guy just over here. Let's, uh... There he is. Alright, we're gonna get... Oh. Gonna get up behind him at some some way. Just go whichever way you, you need to go to get behind him. Hey, get back here, you. Another melee kill. Search him. This will come in very useful. All right, we got a decoy out of him. And the, what we're meant to be doing, guys, is following this yellow wire, which obviously we're going to do, to turn off the radar completely. All right, so you can see on my map, there's no more enemies around here. We're safe. We can grab this satchel here. We're going to need that later. Uh, and what do my notes say about this before we get another one? Um... Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. Get the satchel outside. To take the uh, loot the rest of the area. Doesn't appear to be anything. Those bottles were already full. And then turn off the radar by interacting with this here. Bada bing, bada boom. The radar is just an expensive hunk of scrap. That should keep our boys on the bombing runs. All right. With that done, we're going to head to the west. It can be hard to figure out exactly which way you're heading. Um, there's a loot container here, but we, oh, with another satchel, but everything else we cannot pick up. And then we're gonna go down into this bunker down here. Let me just check my notes. Is there a, uh, uh, yes, we're gonna have to do a takedown when we get in here. So I think we have to go around the corner first from memory. Oh, there he is on the mini map. So head down into the bunk bunker and get ready to do another takedown. I'm just going to reload my rifle while I'm at it. You can do an action reload by hitting reload again when you get that little uh, get to that little it sounds like part. A now, obviously, the submarine. I was looking at my mini map to know that he was facing the other way. Oh my god! I press the wrong button. I press the wrong button, and I still got the right kill. Captain Fumblefingers, go home, mate. Oh, right in the heart. You are dead. Dead, dead. All right, search him as well. All right, nothing else. He 
If you don't already have bolt cutters, there's some more, but we've obviously already got some. If you used any grenades, there's one there. Okay. And then we're going to go... Oh, do we need this? Yes, we do. Armor piercing rounds for our rifle. Whether or not we're going to use them, that's another story. All right, and we head down... Um, what's that? Oh, bandages. Okay. And I don't know why I'm sneaking. It's just habit, guys. I should remember to not sneak when I don't need to. So that we can speed things up for you guys, alright? That's what you guys want. Okay, when we get out here... We're going to head to the right. And head over to this camp over here. Where you can see that sort of eye icon show up. And to get a new starting location, some of them you actually have to go to the location itself and start a fire, like this. Press Y here and it starts a fire and that now unlocks a starting location. You can see there we've got three out of four starting locations now. Okay guys, now we don't you don't have to get these... Um, geez, what happened on my map then? You don't have to get these starting locations. There's no collectibles or achievements linked to it. Uh, but I'm going to show you where they are when it when it uh, is easier. What we are going to do is we're going to start working on the optional objective, destroy anti-air guns. And to do that, we're going to go do this one first. And there's going to be a couple of collectibles nearby as well. So we're going to head up here. I just placed that waypoint just to help my own um, way of doing the mission and where so that I know exactly where I want to go. But there's going to be two guys sort of in it near this uh, anti-air gun. So I'm going to sneak right now and preferably head over to the right over here while that guy's patrolling. That was just your timing could be different. And what I want to do, if we get over to the right, I know that he always heads over to the left over there. So now that he's gone past, we can sneak up behind him and take him out. Now your timing might be different. You may have to wait in different spots. I think I've grabbed all I can. Okay, and there's going to be another guy. This this guy's in. That guy shouldn't be able to see me. This guy will be in where this um, anti-aircraft gun is. The guy behind us can't see us, so that's great. Just using focus here. Oh, he's gone. He's not in here. Okay, so another example of how different things can go. Maybe he's coming in here. So it's just the timing that was a little bit off. Now, if he doesn't come in here, I'm going to whistle to try and get him to come in here. But in my last practice run, he came in here anyway. And he was already in here and I just killed him while he was in here. Turning off focus just so that he goes a bit quicker. I wish you could mark enemies while you're in focus mode, but uh, now I do not want to do this kill with that other guy so close, so uh, it should be okay. He's not really facing that way, and here he comes, so we'll get this kill done. Now, this is going to be fine. Dude, are you going to come in here or not? All right, I'm just going to whistle to speed him up a bit. Come on. What was that? Lass? And kill. There we go. Okay, that guy's going back. What we want to do is I want to just sneak down here and get rid of this guy so that he doesn't hear anything that we're about to do. May need... Oh, there might be a vehicle there. Oh, no, that's just a spotlight that we can uh, see on the minimap. Oh, there's two there this time. Okay. Why are they not showing up on my map? That's funny. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to use our pistol to get a headshot on one of them. And then we can sneak up on the other one. We should be able to get a headshot on this guy. That other guy not doing too much. And we can just sneak up behind him and finish him off just like that. That's how we take out two guys when they're standing right next to each other. Oops, I'm trying to search you, man. I accidentally picked up his gun. Can't find anything else. Search this guy. Alright, and I'm gonna drop his gun and get my own gun back out. 
All right, now we're gonna go do a takedown on the guy that's patrolling the uh, main courtyard up here. And if you can, get into this long grass to start with. And then we'll reassess where he's at. So if he's going around that way, we should be able to get in behind him. But I'm gonna to run to this long grass just in case he does something we're not ready for. Like that. And we'll just whistle from the long grass. He'll come to the long grass and we'll take him out. Easy peasy. Better than using the truck uh, because you can't whistle when you're leaning against the truck because it thinks you want to sabotage the truck. All right, there we go. Take him down. Now, one of these guards that we've taken down will have a safe code too, by the way. I didn't check whether the other two unlocked it, but we will obviously have the safe code now. And if we go inside, now later in the level, guys, there's actually a safe that if you use the code to open the safe, the uh, collectible isn't in it. Whereas if you um, don't use the code and you blow it open, there is a collectible in it. And let me just double check my notes. This isn't it, is it? Uh, no, this is not the safe. Okay, good. That's a safe later on. Oh, am I missing the safe code? Did I not uh, search the other bodies? One second. Where were the other bodies? Uh, there was one over here. Did I search him? Thought I did. Yes, I did. And then there was the one in here. Oh yeah, we can break this open too because we've got the crowbar. Not that there'll be anything in it we need. So just bear with me here. Obviously, if you searched the bodies, then you'll already have what you need. Oh, I didn't search him. Okay, there's the safe code. My bad. Got to get used to that. Well, I should be used to it already. All right, back to the safe. So yeah, if you don't have the safe code, it means you didn't search. One of the two guys that are closest to the AA gun normally. It's probably always that same guy. Now, pick up Atlantic. the um, class, uh, classified document British out. number three, I'm which is luck. collectible six of 19. And then if we go up these stairs, uh, we've got to find a ladder. So go up through here, up here, and then up this ladder. And here is personal document uh, number two Sounds and collectible like seven of 19. Oh, a silenced the Nazis stem. Haven't got to it already. Yeah, I'm going to put that straight back down anyway, guys. All right, back down the ladder. Okay, now, we are... Hang on, where am I going? We need to go all the way back outside. And we're going to actually blow up this AA gun now. All right, where am I? Okay, here's the AA gun. We're going to go plant a satchel on it. It's one of the reasons we've been collecting all these satchels. Just plant this here. Okay, now there might be some guards that come running over to find out what the hell happened. If they do, we're going to uh, get some takedowns on them. But for now, what we're going to do is just aim at the satchel... And I want to time it so that it goes off when one of these explosions goes off that you can hear right now. So as soon as we hear the next one, I'm going to fire. Oh, I bet you we have to wait now. You know what? Stuff waiting. If you can do it, it might stop guys from coming over, but let's just blow it up. I actually haven't tested that anyway, whether that does disguise anything. And then we're going to run in here or over here. Just somewhere where we can sort of hide. You can see on your minimap where they're coming from, so you know you might be safe here. There's only just one guy coming from in front of us at the moment. And if we can take him out, we will. But just keep an eye on your minimap just in case. All right. Whistle on him. Let's see, see what he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's not coming the way I wanted him to come. Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Get him, get him, get him! 
Okay, he took a tiny bit of my health. If that happens to you, don't heal, guys. Don't heal. Everything's all clear. So it doesn't matter that he saw us. It doesn't change anything. And uh, we got him just in time. Oh, my health regenerates anyway. I forgot about that on this difficulty. So, yeah, do not heal. Whatever you do, do not heal if you want that achievement in this particular video. Uh, or this particular mission. Alright, next. We are going. We've blown that up. We've got to go south through... Oh, that's right. Okay, we're going to the next... So if you open your map, we're going to go to this next AA gun just here. I'm just going to place a marker there. And we're going to go through this little gap here and down through here. And I think there's a little track right there. So through this, this is an orchard. And we've got some more enemies to kill when we get there. So... I'm going to sprint up here, take a right, up this path, I believe, wait, no, no, back a bit, I think, oh no, no, gone the right way, up here, yep, there's the orchard, my bad, through the orchard, uh, get out of my way, man, alright, and here we are at this path here, you might want to do a save here, guys, because you can stuff this up. All right, there's three enemies. That guy there, which never seems to come over, even if, even if I could whistle him over, actually. It's not a great idea. And there's another guy, one guy over near the gun, and one guy, you might be able to see him through that bush there. What we're going to do is sneak down this way. Now, we can jump over here. What I want to do is get near that truck. I've just got to make sure that first guy that we saw isn't looking this way. And I think, okay, he's heading away right now. So that's good. If he's heading away, just jump over, head over near this truck. And from here, whistle, perfect. And then, as long as that guy over there can't see us, sneak around this side of the truck. Wait for him to come around. And should be able to sneak up behind him and get ourselves another lethal takedown. And I'm going to just leave the body about there somewhere. And then I'm going to go over here and see if that guy in there can hear me from here. Yep, someone's investigating. Perfect. Go back around behind the truck. Fortunately, the markers on the minimap are stuffing this up, but that's okay. He's gonna he's gonna see that body, and he'll go running for the body once he comes around. Go on, go check out the body, and you know what we're gonna do. Another one. All right, make sure you've searched both of these. I think I searched the first one, didn't I? Guess I grabbed everything useful. I did, I did. All right. And now we'll go take care of this other guy. Just depending on where he's at to start this off. Okay. Um, okay, now where do I want to take care of him? Yeah, he's coming back this way. I knew he was going to do that. Oh, no, that's okay. If he's heading up there, we're going to sneak up behind him eventually. All right, he's going to face that way for a little bit. You see he gets the binoculars out, so we've got time. Up behind him, and another kill. Excellent. Search him as well. Um, now, before we blow this one, we might want to just plan where we're going to go. So, opening up the map, we're heading for this next one here, and I need to go... Well, we'll just pop that there. So those guys over there may come running. We need to go up that way. All right, let's just blow it up and uh, work it out once we've done it. Uh, we're going to grab this satchel over here. We're going to plant a satchel. Oh, no, we're going to uh, open this first. Break open with the bolt cutters. See if we need anything. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, so collect supply pouch. One pistol ammo. <laughs> All right, let's put the satchel on. 
This time we're going to put a fuse on it and then run, okay? So plant satchel. And I might just do a slow fuse. Press X. And then jump up here. And we're going to start running towards our marker that we made. And into this long grass. Perfect. That must be the gun that took out the submarine. That thing can land short. That gun. That gun. We will eventually be destroying that, but just going near it gives us that optional objective. Alright, I'm going to wait here for this to blow and then see if any of the guys near me freak out. That actually worked perfectly. Nah, so it's those guys in that paddock that we are not going to worry about because we are not even going to be dealing with them at all, I don't think, in this walkthrough. Um, now, there will be an officer. Where is he? Somewhere nearby. Minimap is no good to me. There he is. So we're going to see if we can whistle him over to this long grass. There we go. Get him to come check out whatever that noise was. Here he comes. He's going to have a key on him too. Oop, where are you going, mate? So make sure we take him out and then search him. I should search this body. So he's got the armory safe code. Uh, we'll use that, I think, a lot later. Oh, wait, that might be the one that, if you use that key, that's where the, um, the collectible doesn't actually show up. But anyway, we still want it. Um... Oh, hang on. No, no, no. Wrong guard. Blah, blah, blah. Search for key. Okay, then we go into the trench and we... Oh, that guy. That's... It. Okay, he's walking the other way right now. So we can actually sneak in behind him. Just check up above. There are going to be some enemies. They're all over there. I'll show you after we've done this takedown. But you may need to look for them before you do this takedown. Because I have seen them in a different position to where they are right now. Alright, so... That worked fine for me. I'll just show you these other enemies if I can get to them. Um, hang on. Up here. Those two that are just there. Let's uh, get the scope on them. This guy and this guy. I have seen them in a different location that may get in the way of you trying to... Um, to take down that guy that I just took down. All right, we're gonna go take care of those two. Same way we did with the last double, if we can get them. Now, I can't remember where we can climb this. Can I climb up here? Yes, okay. Climb up here, crouch, get in behind these two, get my silence pistol out. You wanna do this from as close as possible because we're gonna shoot this first guy. That guy takes some time to like um, get off the, MG and while he's doing that we run up to him and do a takedown so shoot this guy in the head run up to this guy and do a takedown excellent all right search both of these that guy's got nothing that guy's got nothing perfect all right with them down we can go in here under this green tin roof there's going to be another satchel so let's grab that and then we're going to go take down another gun did I search this guy yes I did or he already didn't have anything. All right, now, once again, before we blow this up, we are going to want to check my notes to make sure I'm going the right way. Uh, we want to go into that field, crossroad to the west. Ah, oh, yeah, into these ruins right here. That's where I want to end up. So we're probably going to set the fuse to a long fuse and run over there. There might be somewhere to hide over there. That's the plan, guys. So, plant the charge. Uh, where am I climbing out? Where did I put my marker just then? Hang on. That way. All right, we'll set a long charge. We'll run that way. All right, we've got this. So set a light fuse, so slow. Run this way. Grab this satchel here, climb out. Across this road, make sure there's no vehicles coming. I can tell by the mini-map. And then we might just hide in either this long grass or the long grass across there. Let's go to the long grass over there. 
and hope that we get there before it blows. All right, that's the hole in the wall I want to go through. Ba boom! Let's just see if anyone freaks out. They all freaked out. All the guys here where we are. All right. May have to wait. What's that noise? Oh, that's the big gun. We're going to be taking that out shortly. Don't worry. Now, if they freak out and come down this way, we may may take advantage to get some kills in this grass. But it looks like they're not going to do too much. And once we're in the clear, we're going to head into that long grass just there ahead of us. So through that little hole and into the other long grass. Hopefully they uh, go all clear shortly. Now guys, I've waited quite a while and they aren't moving or changing from investigating. Now I've seen this happen before. I think it's a bit glitchy. And what you can do to get rid of it is save the game. So I'm going to just make a new save on, a, on one of my other saves. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to load that save I just made. And hopefully, there we go. They have all gone back to normal or investigation is now over. So if that happens, that is one way to get rid of that. Now we're going to sneak through here. I did not need to go prone to get through here before, but if you do need to go prone, you hold the crouch button and go through. Now, there's these two guys that are here. You can see on the minimap that they're right next to each other, talking to each other. There they are there. I don't want to do this while they are talking to each other. But what I... And they should eventually stop and move on. Once they do start to move on, we want to whistle and get them to come down here. Maybe I should just do it. They don't look like they're going to move. They may still be glitched. I'm not sure. All right. What we'll do is we'll make sure we do it from behind here where the other one can't see. So whistle. If that didn't work, go a bit closer. There we go. And it should just be one of them that comes looking. Here he comes. And we'll get a kill here in the grass. And then we'll use the same tactic on the other one. There we go. You thought you saw something. Ha ha. This will come in very useful. All right. That guy seems to be thinking he's uh, seen something as well. So that's fine. I'm just going to whistle as well just to get him even more interested in coming this way. Here he comes. Dude, where are you going? Now, maybe you just didn't want to walk over that pile of dirt. Where are you going, mate? We may have to go closer to him, and that's fine too. The guy in the background's not facing this way. I did check that on my minimap and using my actual vision, I guess. Now, there's a few more guys that have freaked out over here. That is not normal. So, we might just... Uh... Okay, not normal at all. All right, I'm going to take this guy out. Should be okay. No one was watching. Again, looking at my mini-map. Oh, that guy nearly came over here, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not do it while there's too many. I don't know what made them all aggro, but that's okay. Hopefully it doesn't um, glitch again and they all just return to normal. Even if you don't kill as many as me, I'll still be showing you the tactics that I would have used if they were still there. All clear, perfect. No one saw that. Perfect again. If I can get a whistle in. Anyone hear it? Now, do I normally go and kill that guy next? Let me just check my notes. Um, no, he can be last. 
after we oh he might we might not even need to kill him all right so sometimes there's a guy inside this um, room that we're s sort of hiding outside of actually let me just make sure we search all these as well not that we need anything we're pretty much full on everything aren't we but I can't help myself guys what would the loot goblin do if we didn't get all possible search is done you know we've got to try just in case they have something we don't have right so yeah if there is a guy inside this building usually i'll show you what he's doing we're going to sneak in here anyway he's usually it's probably one of the guys we killed he's usually inspecting this material here and you can just sneak up behind him and kill him right here and even leave his body there or dump it somewhere crack this open with a crowbar once again probably don't need any of this Hang on, what's that back one? Full as well. Okay. With that done, there's usually two guys. Yet there still is two guys down there next to that machine gun. What I'm going to do is from here, or maybe even from here, we'll see if we can whistle. Sometimes you can whistle to them from here. Or from here and then back, back inside. There we go. Is he going to come? Hopefully one of them comes over. Beautiful. Here he comes and we're going to take him out. I have to sneak in and grab him. Yeah, he stopped right where we were. We'll whistle again. Instead of sneaking out there. And as he comes around the corner, you know the drill. Come on, mate. Don't be a wuss. What's he doing? Yay, there we go. All right. We can search him. And we're going to go take care of this guy on the machine gun as well. Oh, hopefully that guy on the tower. I forgot to watch him. No, he didn't see. Search him. And just because we're right here with a few guys around, I'm going to hide his body. Right here. Now, we've got two guys in this tower. Oh, crouch. Someone over there nearly saw me. Um, yeah, the two guys in the tower, we can just leave them, guys. They're not going to get in our way now. We can just um, head over here. And we're heading for that building there. I'm going to head around the back of it. So across here. Don't worry about the guys in the tower. Oh, wait. No. Sorry. We can't go down this path. We've got to go up the road and then around the back. Yeah. Where this uh, tall grass is. I nearly led you the wrong way. Nearly. And this building here. We need the officer first. So hang on. Where is he? That'll be him there. I'm just making sure he can't see me. We don't have the key for that yet. This guy over here has the key. So we are going to use this truck as a bit of cover. But if you're too close to the front of the truck... Alright, we're going to whistle. Oh, did he just start heading the other way, did he? That's alright, he's down in this bunker just started heading the other way so i'm going to sneak in and get him otherwise you hide in that grass do a whistle and kill him when he comes up but since he's uh just started heading away we're going to sneak in and take out this officer oh that was a good one and make sure you search him that's how you get the key into that building that we literally just passed this satchel's always here as well now we can go back and go inside here. We've got the key. Now this here, guys, is the um, safe that if we open it with the key, you can put, you can save your game here and test this out. But if you open it with the key, the collectible won't be inside. Let me just check all this loot. That's our next workbench. But let's sort out this collectible first. I'm just picking up 
any of this loot that we may or may not need. All right, and some weapons, obviously. Yeah, yeah, so if, if you open it with the key, there won't be a collectible. Instead, plant the satchel, use a quick fuse, and run and hide in this little corner, and you're at a safe distance right here. Check your mini-map and your description and make sure no one's come and running to come investigate that sound. I don't think they will. And we've got the collectible in here. If it'll let me pick it up. Pick up. The map of the nuts. Artillery uh, bunkers. Taking these out will punch a hole in their defenses. Confidential document number four and collectible eight of 19. And if we use this pistol workbench, which of course we're going to, this is going to be collectible 9 of 19 and I'm going to also upgrade our pistol that we're currently using uh, ooh, we can put a little scope on it do I want to upgrade the muzzle what is that actually significantly quieter it doesn't really seem to change much but it makes the power more effective so let's get that Put a little stock on it. Hmm, do we want one of these grips? Makes the control a little bit better, improves aim stability, sure. And you can change the cap to green camo if you wish. I don't really like it, but let's just do it because we can. All right, got all the loot. Oh, and by now you will definitely, if you've been following along, even if you haven't had to redo anything um, apart from our farming that we, we purposely did. You'll have another two skill points. So I'm going to go into my skills and I'm going to get... Pardon me, just ignore that. I'm going to get the next um, body skill, the next focus skill, which is focus movement. Move faster while in focus. Make sure you grab that one if you're following along. All right, with all that done, we are going to head back. Let's just make sure that it counted. Yep, nine out of 19, that is perfect. All right, back the way we came, guys, and into that bunker where we just took out that officer. And we are heading for this area here. If we check the map, uh, game. Oh, I'm all the way up there. I don't know why it does that sometimes with the map. And we are gonna go to the uh, I don't know what this is actually, actually show objectives. It is destroy the gun battery and we're doing option B, send a sabotage shell into the gun. That's exactly what we're gonna do. To get in there, we're actually going this way. Hey, let's just, uh, this is really not necessary, but I wanna do it. We're gonna put this guy in here. All right, now just remember this tunnel that we're going through here. Because uh, when I say run back to the tunnel, this is where we're going to run back to, right here. But for now, let's just press focus. We want to go inside here. And we're going to do a takedown. Probably, I think it might be that guy there. Or that guy there. Which guy is it? I think it's this guy on the left. Uh-oh. Just keep an eye on him. Okay, yep. Yeah. I think he'll stop and go back the other way. Just make sure that guy there is not going to come and see us either. If you have to sneak back outside, do that. But when that guy turns around, we're gonna follow him. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, there we go, he's turning around. Excellent, all right. Take care of this guy. And I'm going to search him and then move his body as well. I don't wanna leave it in this corridor. Yeah, all I can, absolutely nothing. Uh, we're just gonna pop him out here. And past here, no one else comes this way because that door's locked. Generator. Taking it out Hang should on. be a quiet way of silencing the gun. No, 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 we're not going to do it. Well, I did say we're going to do the quiet way when possible, but I like this way. This is so shells through to the gun battery. What we are going to do? We'll do some damage. From here, we're going to blow this up or press RB to arm this, and then we're going to run back to that tunnel. Okay. Uh, we're going to collect a grenade. We just used a grenade to Next do that. Gunfires. Pick up a grenade there. And then run back. If I can remember which way. Yep, 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 yep. Back this way. Back outside and back into that tunnel. And then the big gun goes boom, boom. I'm 
just gonna... Okay, the game is being real strange. See how nothing went yellow? Maybe it's just slow, but usually... Usually all these uh, guys go yellow and go running in there. Like I said, right at the start of the video though, things can happen a little bit differently. We're gonna sneak inside and we're gonna take down this guy that's over here. We're gonna sneak up behind him. So use, he might be somewhere else for you. So don't forget that, but we're gonna get in behind him. Take him out. And then I'm gonna check my notes. Okay. Now I'm just gonna go back, back to the tunnel again, and we're gonna continue on um, by going this way. So we're going up these stairs. Um, all right. And there will be a guy up here. You can see him on the mini map again. Just double checking exactly where he is here. Might use this truck for cover. Oh, he's out that side. Okay, sometimes he's patrolling pretty much right where we are right now. He may come around. Um... Let me just turn that off. Now he's facing that other way. I'm thinking he's going to come around. Let me just do focus again. No? Alright, let me just double check my notes. We need to head this way, so let's just try it. Alright, so sometimes he's over here. If he is here, we'd, you take him out if you need to. And we want to go and head under this wire here. We're going to have to go prone to get under here. Alright, now we can run. And we're going to run out. Maybe I should show you on the map what we're doing. We are... Oops, wrong button. Okay, so that's us there. We're going to make our way to the road and then head down south, down this way. There'll be a truck somewhere on this road where we need to do some more takedowns to get them out of our way. So that's what we're going to do next. So take a right, head into this long grass. Find the road heading south. We're just next to it now. And there's the truck. So we're going to run to that next lot of long grass. Can't run much more than that anyway. And then run to this next lot of long grass. As long as they're not looking in this direction. And while that other guy's heading off in that other direction, we'll do a whistle. Ah, I only wanted one. I wanted to grab just one of their attentions, but that's okay. Only one's coming over. Hopefully the other one will turn around before we have to kill this one. Even if he doesn't, that's fine. Do the kill. The other one got alerted and so did his buddy behind him. Now they're just stopped at that roadblock. This is okay. We're going to whistle again. No, he's not going to hear that. Get closer. Yep, he heard that. Get this other guy to come over. Now that vehicle, there's a motorbike with a guy in the side cart stopped at the uh, boom gate there. That is not always there. But we may take advantage of it being there. And we're going to do the same thing on this guy. Now they're still alerted up there. I'm going to search these two guys while I wait for them two to sort themselves out. Can't find anything else. All right, are they still on their bike? They are. Oh, and a guy not on the bike, okay. Where are you going, mate? If he comes over, we'll just do the same thing. Let's just whistle, get him to come over. Oh, two of them, that's not good. Okay, if we need to, we're gonna back right off. We don't want two of them here. All right, we'll wait for them to give up. They'll come over here, they won't see anything. And hopefully they start walking away one at, one at a time even. Okay, they're still yellow. All right, they're running back. That's, oh boy, oh boy. 
Go away. Give up. There is nothing to see here. These are not the droids you're looking for. Bro, that's good. If one of them leaves, that's actually a good thing. Find them, damn it! Okay, that's good. Hopefully they leave. Because what we're doing, guys, is we're heading to that building up there. Sort of to the southwest. That is actually the end of the mission. That is the building where we will be extracting from later on. But for now, we're just going there to grab a collectible while we're here. And clear it out so that when we come back, we have nothing to do. Um, there's only one enemy guarding it. Oh, good. All clear. They're finally leaving. Excellent. So now we can head up here. Now we can run as long as we're not too close to anyone. Run up here. And must be the farm. every time I've come here in practice runs, the enemy is upstairs. Still got work. Yep, he's upstairs again. Oops. And so we'll run inside. Oh, don't run. Don't run now because he might hear you. We'll uh, find the stairs. We're going to head up. Did I accidentally pick up an enemy gun? I did. And we're going to find where he is. There he is. Okay. And we'll do a takedown. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You saw nothing. Alright, there might be some loot upstairs. I can't remember, but there's nothing that I really want. What we came here for is in the kitchen. With him dead, there's no one else here. Head down, find uh, the kitchen. And on this little uh, sink here, or whatever this is, is a flag. Pick that up. That is a hidden, uh, hidden yeah, item. There's three hidden items. Got away from the Nazis. And that is the first one. Alright, now we're going to go back to that boom gate. If I can figure out which way I'm headed. Hopefully everything's returned to normal. Now, there's always a guy here at the boom gate. This boom gate here. That's where we want to head. Oh, hide here. And sometimes that vehicle. But first, I want to take out this guy here. I don't think I'll be able to whistle to him from here, but he should turn around. There we go. Get in this long grass. Oh, no. Nope. He's looking this way. All right. Oh, did he see me? Or did he hear me? All right, either way, he's, he thinks something's happening over here, which is great. We want him to come over here. Now, that motorbike seems to be glitched. It's usually stopped at the boom gate itself, but there's a truck there as well. Now, the only vehicle we care about that we don't want there is the vehicle being driven by the main target of this mission. If you see him, you want to wait for him to leave. If it's glitched and he won't leave, try saving your game and then reloading in because you don't want him here at this road. Well, I mean, I guess if he was here, we could just kill him. Um, but yeah, you particularly don't want him here because we're going to kill him a certain way. There is a certain way we have to kill the main target in order to get um, a, a weapon. Yeah, that motorbike is not normally there. Sometimes it's stuck there where that truck is. I'm just going to see if there's anyone in the truck. And it appears that there is. Should we shoot him? All right, shoot him. See if anyone freaks out. Okay, those two guys did. Perfect. We're going to take these guys out. Ah! I really wanted that... I wanted one of them to come over. Might just shoot this guy as well if, if he's going to stay there. Going to shoot him in the head. Nope, he's not going to stay there. Gah! I didn't trust my aim. See if I can get him. Okay, good. We got him with a whistle. Perfect. Be careful, there's another guy there somewhere too. He's not facing this way though, so let's take care of this guy. And he's an officer, so let's search him and see what he's got. Beautiful. How did the other guy get over there? Alright, whistle again. No, no, no. Whistle. Oh, you've got to be not near the body. Sound heard. Good. That means he's coming over. Here he is. Come on, mate. I'm right here. Is he stuck? Don't be stuck. Come on. Run around. 
Yeah, atta boy. Where are you going? All right. I'm going up behind him. And ba-boom. All right. Area clear. That's all. And all clear signal given as well. All right. From here, uh, we need to go south on the road. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so the next job is we want to get to this building here. This is a big hotel. So we're going to go south down this road. Uh, we're going to go left at this intersection here and then into this little courtyard here that has a fountain. That, that right there, that circle is a little fountain. There's going to be some enemies there. What we have to watch for as we head down this road and down here is any other enemy vehicles patrolling around. If we see any of those, we need to just avoid them and stay clear. All right, so that's where we're going. I'm just seeing if we need to, or if we can search that guy. No, don't worry about him. We don't need him anyway. So you're checking the minimap. You can see a couple of circles forming now and a vehicle appears to be approaching. So I'm gonna hide in here and we're gonna watch where that vehicle goes. See that? All right, good, let it go past. See, that did not happen on my practice runs, but I'm glad I explained it before it did happen. And we're going left here. Grab any stuff here you might want or need. And hang on, that's the, okay, I went, I went the wrong way. I said, I said left, we had to go right and then into here. Right, and be careful because vehicles can still come up behind you. So you need to sneak in here as quickly as you can. Sometimes there's a guy patrolling around this fountain. So you need to time it so that he's not looking your way and get down to this wall here. And he will eventually, if everything is working as it should, and you can see one of the arrows moving slightly this way, uh, he will eventually come in here and then he walks anti-clockwise around this fountain usually. And we sneak up, we'll sneak up behind him and take him out. You just need to make sure no vehicles are passing up there and can spot you, okay? So let's see if, I'm, I don't wanna to wait too long, but he should come at us. So let's just wait here for a second. Uh, and we are gonna shoot that eagle. There's the second stone eagle up on that roof too. See another, another vehicle just went past, but we're fine. Okay, if this guy's not going to come here, um, should we shoot the eagle from here and see if that makes him come in, come looking? That may make more or too many come looking though. Actually, we're just gonna shoot the eagle with the handgun. So let's do that. This is collectible number 11. See if that makes anyone freak out. Stone Eagle number two out of three. There he is anyway. Okay, he's coming. Perfect timing. And no one freaked out. Perfect. So he's going to come patrol through here. And he'll go to his right, our left. And then we'll sneak around behind him and take him out. So we can start just moving around here. There we go. Let's sneak in behind him. And go to sleep. Permanently. And search him. Nothing else. Pick him up. And throw him in. Go sleep with the fishes. Now, there's going to be an enemy always right outside the front of the hotel. Oh, just ignore if anyone can see us through that window. We're going to run straight up behind him. Straight up to him. He's always here. Oh. And the reason we ran, well, one of the reasons we ran is so that no one would see us long enough. Long enough. Did you see we nearly got spotted twice as we went past? Why did I just take damage? I have no idea how that happened. And then in here, there's going to be another takedown. I'm just using... Okay, he's right there. We're going to wait for him. 
we want to take him down. We'll see what he does. Oops, wrong. I was just trying to turn off the uh, thingamajig. The officer's always there as well, so we've got to be mindful of both of these guys. Let me put this on. All right, he's got his back turned, and the officer's gone past, so we're going to take him out. Oh, boy, he screamed like a girl. That's not good. All right, sneak up behind the officer and take him out as well. Search the officer. Now, we're going to leave these bodies here. We want them to be found. Um, they might be in different positions, um, depending on where you killed them. So they may or may not be found, but we are, I actually want them to be found. I'm just going to search them. And then we're going to head upstairs. And if those bodies get found, that's great. Now upstairs, let me just double check. Um, yeah, there's going to be another officer up here. Why can't I see him? Hang on. There he is. Oh. And we're going to stay right here and we're going to whistle. And he's going to come in here and we're going to take care of him. Now, the bodies may be started to be found downstairs. If that happens, they start investigating and they inevitably run up here. If that happens, we hide in this room and we take them out as they come in, just like that. Search this guy. He'll have a safe code. This will come in very useful. And I actually want to put his body just here in the middle of the room where they can see it. So if they come up the stairs... Hang on. I want to move it a little bit more over this way. Okay, so just keep an eye on the... Uh, see how they've gone yellow? They're investigating. I was going to say keep an eye on the minimap to see if their arrows turn yellow. Here they come. Up the stairs. They should see the body. If they don't, we'll just whistle. And there we go. There's another one. Now, the other guy that's downstairs, he doesn't look like he's come inside to investigate yet. I'm just going to see what he does for a second. Uh, and then we're going to go open a safe for our personal letter number three, which is collectible number 12. We're on 11 at the moment. Let's just go get it. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. So head to the end of the hall, turn right, and then right again. We've got the key from one of the um, officers that we just took down. Open up the safe and get personal letter... What did I say? Number three. Assistants right there. Were planning to raid an armory. Oh, oh, he's coming up too. Finish where they started. All right, we'll wait here. Let's, let's just go up behind him. He's found the bodies. We'll go take care of him. No, no. Job done. They always come up here, guys. I've never had it not happen, um, but obviously, if they don't come up here, you'll have to find some other way to take them out. Okay, we've searched everyone. Excellent. All right, everyone's dead, and we got collectible number 12, and now we are going to leave again. Ah, yes, I know where we're going next. Yep. All right. Outside the front door. Now, for this next area, this is where you may end up seeing um, the main target. If you want to kill him, if you get the chance to blow up his car, go for it. But blow up his car while he's in it, because you need to kill him with an explosion. That is how you unlock a special, or a weapon, um, in this... Stefan Beckendorf, the butcher of the local resistance. You're on my list, Beckendorf. Okay, guys, and there may be a slight edit there. But, yeah, this is the car I was telling you about. Um, but I did actually just have to restart this little section again because I got spotted by a vehicle. Um, now, they look a little bit... 
Why is he just sitting there? That's not even one of the spots that he normally stops, I don't think. Well, let's just have a look at what he's doing. And we can mark him up anyway, so we'll know where he is from now on. So if you see him hanging around here somewhere, make sure you mark him up. But they appear to be just sitting there. That's not what they normally do. All right, we've marked the car as well. Okay, guys, if you see this, I don't know if I want to do this right now. Um, all right, make sure you do a save before you do it. But this is how we get the extra weapon is by shooting that little red thing there on the front of the car. I'll show you later on where I normally do it. But since we've got the opportunity and they seem to be bugged, you could either try and save the game and load up to unbug them. But this is actually going to make things a little bit easier if we do this. Only problem being is that someone might come running from behind me. So save your game. However you like to use your save files, do that. And then what you want to do is you want to shoot that right there. Obviously some people are going to be alerted. So I'm going to be running back down towards the hotel after I fire this shot. All right. Oh, I needed two shots. You'll see that I got the new weapon unlocked. The top of the top right hand corner of the screen. Make sure that shows up for you. I'm just going to run back here. We're going to hide here. And it's only the people furthest away that seem to have got alerted. That's very strange. I'm just going to wait here for a minute and see if they come running over. Uh, what I will do... Hang on, I was wondering if that was meant to unlock an achievement or not. No, I don't think it does. It doesn't say in my notes either, so... Either way, I know that we got the weapon unlocked, so that's important. Oh, okay. I was going to speed up the video, but they are coming over already. Now, I don't believe those guys actually matter for what we're about to go and do anyway, so... can either kill them or wait for them to go back to their normal routines. Um, they're not even, yeah, they're being real strange. Let's see if I can get any of them to come over. Oh, they're right there though. No, I'm not going to whistle because too many might come. We really don't want to start a gunfire, even though we're, oh, here we go. Here we go. You can die. That's fine. Oh, and another one. My camera was being funny, but I was just spamming the Y button. Gonna have to run up to this guy, spam it on him, spam it on him. Alright. We're pretty safe here. I'm just gonna, uh, whoops, accidentally picked up the weapon. Search these guys. I'm just gonna reload so that I can maybe pick up. Although it really doesn't matter guys what you do pick up or don't I'm only searching them all because of my OCD really <laughs> All right, that'll do no one else the way we're headed seems to be alerted So normally what you might do is wait for the car to go past he usually stops um, somewhere here Not really where he was stop somewhere here and exp um, looks in one of these buildings and we wait for him to go past and then what you do is find this cafe just here make sure there's no other vehicles patrolling around and instead of going inside the cafe sneak down this left hand side of it that enemy hunting is way away from us so it's not important sneak down here and this guy is always on this balcony here um, now depending on where you kill him if you if he's over near this tree and you're killing there. People see it and they come running. I don't know if they see it if we kill him where he is now. So we're going to sneak up behind him. We're going to kill him here. We're going to turn around and we're going to open this door. Oops, wrong button. Using whatever it is, the uh, bolt cutters. And we're going to head inside and we're going to hide here. Now, if an enemy comes running, he always gets stuck right where we... Pretty much where we killed that guy, but closer to that table and chairs. And then we just sneak out of here and sneak up behind him and kill him anyway. So it doesn't matter if someone comes running or not. Doesn't look like they did this time. Uh, 
and they where they come running from and the reason they see if, if you do it here is from that yellow building. Do you remember being told about a yellow building? Well, we're going to go deal with it in just a second. So whether or not someone... Can, oh, we've got the all clear too. So that thing is no longer bugged or anything. We've got the all clear. Whether or not someone comes or not, we've done what we needed to do here. Um, so kill the guard if he comes running up. Oh. Oh, and then we go upstairs. We need to get personal letter number... Is it number three? No, we've already got that. Oh, I've read the wrong part of my notes. Sorry, guys. Okay, guards have come running. Now we go down the hill and over the wall over here. Okay. So oh, down the steps, then down this little hill. There's some bad guys over near the yellow building. We're going to deal with them when we get there. But we're going to climb over here. Immediately drop down here so that guy can't see us. See them two over there. And we're going to sneak into that shack there. So sneak, sneak past. You'll be quick enough that he won't actually alert. Crowbar if you need it right there. And then we sneak around here and we go in this window. As we come in this window, guys, no one should be in here. And we're get, going to get personal letter number four on this uh, couch or sofa, depending on where you're from and what you call that. Personal letter number four. Botches at the door, which is also collectible 13 out of 19. Then we're going to go out the back here. Now, I don't know why someone nearly saw me then. Could get me into the attic. And I was going to say, Hurry. climb these vines into the attic. Along Marcel's gut. But, uh... Exactly. So climb up the vines and then shimmy to the left. And, and then up in through the window. And unfortunately... Sorry, we weren't in time to save Marcel. You still got the key and I can find the safe. Don't know if it's possible to save him or not. Obviously, I, my practice runs all take forever and he's always dead when I get here. But we search him, we get his key. And it, right here, hang on, let me just check if we need any of this loot. Full, 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 full. Marcel was storing resistance equipment in his attic. Don't worry, we'll use um, good time to rearm. more and more items as we get through this. Okay, some armor pissing rounds. This is the SMG workbench. So use the SMG workbench because that counts as collectible 14 of 19. And I'm going to use it to upgrade this uh, SMG just while we're here. Why not? Uh, what do I want here? Yeah, sure. Use that. Put a stock on it. Yep. Uh, foregrip. Okay, yep, makes the gun better. Anything that makes the gun better. I'm no expert on the upgrades, guys. If there's upgrades that we need to use for specific kills and specific um, strategies that we come up with, I'll let you know. But I'm just really upgrading whatever I think's best at the time. And then we can go into the next room. And you move these floorboards out of the way. And then drop in. Resistance documents have got to be in here. Oh boy, he's not meant to be there. Let's just do a takedown on him. Okay, they must have came investigating for some other reason. Nothing but what else. I normally do... Is see if we can stand here somewhere. And whistle, see if it gets heard. Nope, doesn't get heard there. So we'll... Do it from in this corner here. Hello? Got heard, yes. Is there anyone? And when they come inside, they're gonna come up the stairs here. And he's coming to investigate. Come on. If you killed someone on the top of that balcony, there'll only be two guys here and not three. All right, take care of him. Now, I believe there's still one more guy outside this window. So, we're going to whistle again. No one heard it. Come on, mate. I guess the other option is that we kill him. Headshot. There we go. One less lethal takedown, though. 
and I can't search him from here. We may search him. Oh, we're going out that way, so we'll search him when we get out there. Search him. Did we search the other guy? I don't think we did. We are in a bit of a rush, weren't we? He's got nothing anyway. All right. Maybe we already searched him. I can't remember. In this room here, we use the key that we got off Marcel. Right there. Just like Charlie said. Just like Charlie said. Nazis never found it. All right. Another objective complete. I'll see this gets to the right people. And now, technically, you could go to the exfiltration um, and finish the level. But we have got a whole bunch of side objectives still to do, including the destroy the... Uh, Defenses, there's three of them along here. Uh, we've got some other collectibles and things to do, some other collectibles there, and then we'll head back over there. So, a couple more things to do. What are we at? We're at 14 out of 19 anyway. Uh, oh, yes, okay, let's go and do that first coastal defense. That is our next stop. The guy that we just shot in the head is, oh, look at that bad. Bad people that they've done here. This guy's next. This will come in very useful. All right, now we're gonna go down this road. No, nope. the one on, whoops, wrong button. The one on the outside here. Now, sometimes guys, if you haven't already killed Beckendorf and his car, he will be patrolling this road. So you may have to watch for him. And what we actually, where I normally kill him, I'm about to show you. Uh, where we're just creeping along this wall for a reason, guys. There is sometimes, yeah, that guy right there. All right, because he's just turned his back and I saw him, your timing again might be different. Oh boy, wrong button again. Um, Captain Fumblefingers. Yeah, I saw him turn his back, which means he was going to be there for a few seconds. Once again, your timing might be different. He will sometimes be at... The reason we were creeping along the wall, he'll sometimes be here having a smoke and be able to see you if you're standing up. So just take care of this guy however you see fit and then we can go up both uh, ladders here. So this ladder and then another ladder. And what I normally do, this is where I would then take out Beckendorf. If you head to this side here, and you can stand up here, and he normally stops his car. Let's get out our gun. Right there on the road there. Right here somewhere. And when he gets back in or before he gets out of his car, shoot that same red thing on the car. Ba-boom. Blow him up right here. If you haven't killed him yet, I advise waiting for him to... Um, patrol this area and then kill him from here. Now, we could actually take this guy out if we want to. Uh, because what normally happens from here, actually we'll do it by blowing this up. So normally once I've done that, guys, uh, I'll also blow this up. And one of those two actions will cause all... Whoops, I did not mean that. Okay, apparently I have to drop down. Sorry, I didn't mean to fall then. One of those two actions will cause all those guards that you can see on the minimap to alert and come running. And what we then do is kill them at this door. So what I'm going to do is... I'll do a slow fuse, but you could probably do a quick fuse. Head down the ladders. And when they come running, all we do is sit here. Get my pistol back out just because I like that. It doesn't sort of get in the way as much. Um, let's see if they come running when this fuse, I should have done a quick fuse, but I just wanted to make sure I had enough time to explain and show where we were going to sit and wait. Yeah, normally once you blow up the car, they'll come running anyway. That's one bunker taken care of, but it won't be the last. Okay, so that didn't seem to alert any of them. I want to alert them though. So what I'm going to do is get my rifle out and see if I can shoot one of them. Oh, what am I doing? Let's find one that we haven't tagged yet, hopefully. Not that guy. Ah, uh, this guy. Boom. Get a headshot on him. See if that... See if this excites him. Head back inside. Okay, two of them got interested. And they're going to come investigating. Even if, if we need to, we'll whistle... So have your whistle ready. I'm going to reload this too. Come on, guys. Come over here. Whew. 
Yep, he heard that. So as soon as someone's close enough, whistle and spam the wire button. Spam it again, spam it again. Another guy coming from the right, which is actually where we were headed next anyway. So, weren't we? Um, oh, shush, computer. Uh, whistle, maybe? Yep, you heard that. Good, he'll come running. Just want to get as many kills here as we can. Oh, no, we're going to that later. Here he comes. Spam white. Ha, ha, ha. Searching him. All clear on the minimap, so we're all done here. Um, I'm just going to move this body so that I can get to the next one. Go over there, mate. Thanks for flying, arrows. I don't know why I bother searching these guys, seriously. Uh... All right, everyone's done. All right, next building. Again, being mindful of where, uh, whatever his name is, his, uh, whatchamacallit, car is, if you haven't taken care of that yet. There's a satchel here. And let me just move my notes. All right, we're gonna go get the next hidden item in this door here. I don't think anyone will be here because we've just taken them all out. And upstairs, and right there is the photo. Broken Gerard. The resistance Break photo. Down. That is hidden item number two and collectible number 15. If you check your pause screen, you should have 15 collectibles. All right, now we're going to that gazebo. Oh yeah, I know where we're going. Now, hang on, where, I just, I was moving while I wasn't looking. While well, I was reading my notes and I had no idea where I went just then. So back downstairs, back the way we came. Straight across here and then right down here. And we're going to that gazebo that you can see out there. Now there may or may not be an enemy down here depending on who came running. Uh, I think this is where an enemy came running from when we uh, just got spotted a minute ago. Or got, you know, got everyone alerted a minute ago. But either way, run to this gazebo. If you need to take someone out, take them out. And then grab personal letter number five and collectible 16 out of 19. Nuts. Right here. Yeah. You can also it's pick up a uh, pretty rail, but... rocket launcher and have fun taking out that boat if you want to. It won't really affect anything we're doing. With that collectible... Actually, I should show you on the map where we are, shouldn't I? So that is collectible number six. What did I say? 16 out of 19. And then we're just going to run off over here and get the uh, other starting location activated or um, whatever you want to call it. No one's investigating apparently. That's good. All right, over to this campsite and light the fire for another starting location. All right, that's done as well. Next is back to the road where we uh, left the last left the road. So back down here. And then we'll check the map from there and I'll show you what we're going to do. So back down this path. Oh, stop your whinging. Carl, you are so unfit, man, for a soldier. I'm unfit and I reckon I could run further than that without my heart rate raising that much. Okay, so from here, we are headed towards the next... Uh, d um, what's this called? Uh, I had it here. Coastal Defense. Uh, and that's basically it. So we're going to head all the way down the road to that. And there's going to be three enemies there that we need to take out in order to then take out the defense post. So let's go do that. If we stick to this right hand side, we shouldn't come across any other guards. Those ones off to the left we don't need to worry about. Oh, I just want to put a little marker on my map so I know when I'm close. Right about there. Yep, I found it anyway. 
All right, I'm not worried about those two guards right directly ahead. I'm going to sneak, mostly because of my heart rate. And we're going to go in this way. Oh yeah, then we have to go up here to get up to it. Shut up, loudspeaker. I'm trying to do a walkthrough, that's rude. All right, we're going to go up here. And then around to our right. All right, and once we're in here, or back over this way, sorry, past this cemetery, we're going to have to do three kills up here. And again, these guys could be in different situations. So I'm working this out on the fly a little bit. i try and remember what I did last time. Oh, yeah. Yep, I went around this way. Okay, so I'm going to go turn that back off, up this path to where that little wall is. Just watch out that no one spots us just there. He's just there somewhere. Let's see if I can see him with this. Yeah, right there. We're going to get him probably last. So I'm sticking to the right here. You can't see me. Don't lie, game. Oh, what was that for? Oh, that scared the crap out of me here. That guy and that guy there. Oh no, don't come over here. He might be able to see me. Okay, we're about to find out. Okay, if he stops, good. I'm going to sneak past the gun. Maybe go right in there. There he is too. Okay, we're going to go get him next. By sneaking around this side. Just make sure you know where that guy there is. Okay, he's turned. That's great. But now I need to wait for this guy to turn. And we're going to follow him inside and take him out inside, hopefully, guys. Oh, wrong button again. Oh, he's not going inside right now. Okay. Where are you going, mate? Even if he doesn't go inside. We're going to take this opportunity to go inside anyway. Perfect. Okay. And once we're in here, whistle, go and hide near the gun. And when he comes in, we'll take him out. Whistle again if you need to. Come on. Now he might be able to see us because this corner is not perfect. So we're going to get off to our left as much as we can. Oh, which one's coming in? Uh, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. As soon as he comes around the corner, we're going to run to him. Take him. There we go. And then whistle again. And do the same thing again. Hopefully he sees that body. Whistle if you have to. Yeah, it says body found. Same thing again. Excellent. And one more guy outside. Whistle. Where are you? He didn't hear that. Where is he? I can't bloody see him. Oh, there. He seriously didn't hear any of that. Oh, oh here he comes. Here he comes. There we go. He heard that. Same thing again. No, no, no. I'm trying to whistle here, guys, but it's making me do booby traps. What's he investigating? Oh, he heard that. He heard that. Good, good. And then when he comes in, he'll see the bodies. He'll come running over and we'll get him. Easy peasy. Here he comes. Jeez, he's being real cautious, isn't he? Let's just stand up, run and get him. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, run, run. It, oh, it made me search the body. I was spamming Y to do the uh, the kill. Oh, well. Oh, there's two guys down there that now think we're in combat. 
Hmm. Hmm. What should I do? It doesn't matter. Let's blow this up. So, plant charge. Those guys are going to come up hunting me. Okay, there. They don't know where we are. We're going to light the fuse. I've put a quick fuse on it. We're going to run outside. Oh, I should have searched those bodies. My bad. And I'm just going to hide behind this for now. Oh, there we go. Those two guys that were hunting, they've come up Never looking for me. With. Our boys in the channel can thank me later. Which they were going to do anyway, just because we blew that up. So, what I might do is, if this guy comes any close... Ah! Take him out, take him out, take him out. And then run to the next one and take him out too. Ha ha ha. And we are in the clear again because they didn't get to raise any alarms. Nope Perfect. Here. Uh, was there a satchel that I forgot to pick up in here? I'll just check. Probably blew up on me anyway. Grenades are full. No, no satchel. There's normally a satchel wherever you need to use a satchel, especially on this diff... Oh, there's, there's one right there. There it is. Okay, perfect. Check if we need any of this stuff. Probably not. All right. Next, opening up the map. We are heading for the next defense. Uh, from there, we are... Okay. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. Yep. Okay. We're going to go blow up the third... Coastal defense. That is the plan. If those guys didn't come running over, you may have to take care of them on the way or when you get to the coastal defense. There is at least those two that came running over and these two here and possibly a third sometimes. All right, let's have some fun with these two. Open up our weapon select. We're going to select a grenade. We're going to hold RB to aim it, land it right in between them at their feet and get a double kill. And hopefully... Oh, yeah, that's, that's making some mess. Hopefully someone will hear that and come running, but no, it looks like we're all clear. Alright, we're pretty safe here now. We'll search their bodies, hopefully get a replacement grenade. Not from you. What about you? No? Oh, someone over there can see me. Oh, two guys. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's get some more kills here. Where are you going, mate? The more we kill now, the less we have to kill. I want to wait for him to stop. Are you going to stop? No. Okay. Interesting. Well, they may come running over when we blow this up anyway. So that's what we're going to do. Pick up the satchel. Head inside. Oh, and place the bomb here. See if you need any of this stuff before you do... All right, we place the satchel right here. There's no big gun that we need to place it on. And I'm just going to do a quick fuse and then head outside, find some cover. Maybe behind this rock here. That's going to blow. Ba-boom! And that's all of them. The Nazis are having a hard time defending this beach without these bunkers. And again, no one came running. Swapping to your rifle if you haven't already. We're going to get the next Stone Eagle, which will count as collectible number 17. That's right, guys. We're getting bloody close. And it is all the way over here on this building to our east. And we're going to shoot it from here. And apparently, I'm going to miss. Oh, I'm clipping into the um, rock that I'm standing next to. I think I'm still clipping into it. I'm going to stand up and do it. Someone has heard the gunshot, so I want to hurry up and get this eagle killed. Am I missing? Or am I clipping? I have no idea what's happening. Okay. Well, we'll sort out this guy that's come running first. And then I'll have to get that. Alright, where is he? 
Where is he? Let's see if I can get into the grass here before he gets here. Ah, oh, won't let me get in the grass. Okay, that's fine. Can if I go this way, can I? Yep. All right, we're in the grass. And take care of this guy as he comes over. However you see fit. I never had that problem before with missing that eagle like that. But I never tried to shoot it from that exact spot either. So let's uh, go into this long... Oh, there's another guy coming, so be careful. Where is he? Oops. Oh, no! Oh, I nearly killed myself. I thought I had my um, whistle out, guys. I was trying to whistle. I nearly blew myself up. Luckily, we're on this difficulty. Alright, I'm going to just run and kill him. Alright, guys, ready? Run! Take him down. Hopefully get a replacement for that grenade I just wasted. Yep. Oh my god, that was hilarious. I'm leaving that in the video. Uh, okay. This grass could make some useful cover. Now, I'm going to try this eagle again from here. And again, it might uh, have some guys get a bit excited. So, oh, that's where it's... Okay. So I think we were clipping at that rock. All right, skip that. Some more guys may hear that and come running over. And that's exactly what I want. That is our third stone eagle. Three in the mission. 17 of 19 collectibles done. Swapping back to my pistol. This has taken me way longer than I expected it to, and I'm getting bloody hungry. It is way past dinner time, but I'm going to finish this level, and then I'm going to go have dinner before I edit the video. Okay. Actually, I have to edit an um, Elden Ring video after this. If you haven't checked out my Elden Ring walkthrough, and you maybe you think Elden Ring's too hard for you, not if you follow my videos, guys. Where's this guy going? Let's go take him down. Oh, someone over there might see me. Get back in the grass. Hopefully you guys are getting used to the way I do the combat here in this now. Take him out as well. Oh yeah. Getting plenty of uh, good kills here. Alright. So after that eagle, we need to go open up our map. We need to go to this farm here. That's where we're going to get our next two collectibles before we run off and extract. Don't forget, if you are planning on skipping ahead, guys, don't forget we need to change the difficulty before we extract to authentic in order to get all of the achievements as we play through the game. All right. We're going to go to this farm. Now, some are, sometimes there might be more enemies there, but they might have, may have left this farm because they heard our gunshots. Uh, but normally there'd be three enemies patrolling this farm. So if they haven't heard our gunshots and haven't come running, you'll have to take out at least three enemies here. But it looks like maybe only two are left at the moment. Maybe. There might be more. Alright, there's one right there. Let's see how we go. Sneaking around the back here. Oh, oh, that guy there. Hmm. All right, wait for him to leave. Good. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to break it with bolt cutters. Going to press this again. Okay, I'm going to grab that. I'm not going to worry about that yet. Oh, we can't get in that way. My bad. I'm not going to worry about that safe until we're done. Alright, kill this guy, and then we'll sneak up on the other guy. Where's he going? And this guy. Excellent! Alright, let's get hidden item number three. Oh, I'm in the right spot. In this barn here. So what's this on the west side of the farm? Yeah, the west side of the farm. In this building here, on this little table, is a tin, a radio tin. That is hidden item number three out of three. Um, 
Oh, and then to this back building over here. Crouch to go under this. Actually, let's see. Is there any loot I need here first? Nope, don't need any of that. Crouch to go under here. Up the ladder. And this is going to be... So hidden item 3 was collectible number 18. Up this ladder and as immediately as you get off the ladder on the ground here is personal letter number six and collectible 19 of 19. Pause to check. Make sure you've got 19 of 19. Uh, do I want subsonic or non-lethal? No, I want subsonic. Bolt cutters that we don't need. All right, guys, we've got all of the collectibles. What we're going to do now is head for the extraction or the exfiltrate point. Uh, we're going to get there as best we can. Now, as you can see... Um, if I can make it out to this road and then head left, there are a few enemies uh, in between us and where I want to go. Let me just ch double check the map. Yeah, that is the way I want to go. If we can avoid enemies, we will. If we have to take some out, we'll take some out. I don't remember this guy being there like that. Uh, but again, as I've stated the whole way through, guys can be in different locations. And I'm going to just take him out from here. With a nice headshot. Oh, I should have gone for some of the other organs now. We'll cover that later. Now, you do know that we've done a headshot and we've definitely done a testicle shot. That's what we will have definitely done within this playthrough or this mission. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that's my gun. All right, now we're going to start... Running up here. Those guys aren't going to see me. We're going to ignore them. And just run up this road. We're just going to keep heading towards the exfiltration. We've got everything we need to get. We'll avoid enemies as we can. Definitely want to keep the uh, difficulty on easy until we get to the exfiltration, though. Don't worry about those guys to my right. We're going to fault this. Head through this paddock. Why is there a question mark ahead of me? Someone's investigating something. Okay. Oh, they've found bodies here at this... Um... Okay, this is, again, something a little bit different. They found the bodies. A car came through here on patrol. Found the bodies. But it looks like they've given up. They're getting back in their car and they're going to leave. So let's let them do that. There we go. All right. Let them leave, and then we can continue on. Alright, we're going to head around the back to where the exfiltration point is. This must be the farmhouse Charlie told me about. Hope she got here okay. We did come here earlier, and we went inside there for a collectible. Now we're heading around the back here. We're going to pause our game, we're going to go down to difficulty, and we're going to move the difficulty to authentic. You can just press B to go back. If you want to double check, see there on the pause screen, our selected difficulty is now authentic. And with that selected, we can then go and interact with this door to get the final cutscene. Let's do it. Uh, who's that? Carl. You made it. We lost the sub. Did you see any survivors? We lost some good men. I'm sorry. Did you get the intel? This is Marie. She's part of a resistance network that operates further up the coast. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead already. Nice to meet you. Did you get the intel? Oh, straight to the point told you he doesn't do things by halves oh we certainly didn't guys there you're done i'd say to take it easy for a bit but but you've met me yeah <laughs> i 
I wondered if I'd run into you. Been in France long? Almost from the start. Moved around a lot, staying one step ahead of Jerry. More than once, I've thought it would have been good to have you on my network. A native German speaker could have opened many doors. Oh, didn't I tell you? This one was born and raised in Deutschland, at least for a few years. I chose my side. You chose well? I was gonna say, it doesn't sound very but German. I need to go. They will be looking for you. This tells us where to go next. That butcher, Mola, has a chateau not far from here. Oh, let's get him. Look after this one. Spoiler alert, we're blowing up his shiny new car in the next you. episode for an achievement, guys. I will. You take care, Charlie. Oh, she's not coming with? Mission fulfilled. Atlantic war targets neutralized. Yeah, we did. Primary exfil compromised. Multiple US Rangers, KIA. Lieutenant Sullivan and surviving Rangers regrouping with resistance contact to await extraction. Status of Lieutenant Fairburn and Blue Viper unknown. Bleshley Park have intercepted the following. The Widerstandsrat is it geflogen? Ich muss wissen, ob die Operation in Gefahr ist. Wenn die Alliierten Verdacht schaffen, sind wir erledigt. Ich werde die letzten Vorbereitungen persönlich beaufsichtigen. Boom, 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 guys. We got the three stars. We get the story-related achievement there, and we should get one more when this one finishes. Bada bing, bada boom, rare achievement, just a flesh wound. That is because we didn't heal throughout the first mission. Uh, so got that achievement and medal all unlocked as well, or trophy, depending on what you're playing on, guys. That is it for this mission. If we press A and go next, you'll see here that it says down the bottom that we have completed it with the authentic difficulty. But of course, we did that the cheater's way. I, I don't care. People can call it cheating if you want. But uh, we definitely got the stealth and lethal side of things as well. Uh, no alarms raised. Not that it really matters for achievements and all of that. Uh, that took a fair while. It's going to be a long video. But guys, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. And of course, comment down below. Both those things really, really help out the channel. If you want to help me make more guides for Game Pass games especially, please join me on Patreon where you can become a member of Aussie's Army for just $1. That's all it takes, guys, to support the channel. $1 on Patreon. And uh, yeah, really, really appreciate everyone that's already signed up to that. Really, really helps a lot, guys. Really appreciate it. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.